This lesson is on sales tax and tip. As you are watching the video, you should be taking good notes. Pause when needed so that you don't get behind. Okay, what is sales tax? Sales tax is an amount that is paid to the government for the sale of certain goods and services. When you go to the store and you buy a new pair of tennis shoes, okay, maybe the price is $70. You get to the register and you have to pay more than that $70 because they add on a tax amount. Okay, everything you buy, with the exception of, of most food items, you have to pay a tax on. There's tax also for services. If you cell phone, you have to pay taxes on having a cell phone bill or service through your cell phone, uh, cable TV, electricity, uh, you've get, if you get your carpet cleaned, there's taxes on all of that. And what does the government do with the taxes? Well, a lot of the taxes go for roads and highways for repairs or, or making new roads, new highways. Um, also for education. You know, the government pays money to the school districts to help with public education. So how do you pay sales tax? The sales tax is a percentage of the purchase price that is added to your total bill. So there are several methods you can use to find tax amounts. One of them is to use your percent bar models. Another method is the percent proportion. You could also use the percent shortcuts that we just learned about. And then the fourth method is to use decimal multiplication. So we're going to practice finding tax amounts by using these four methods. Okay, Shania and her friends ordered $32 worth of Chinese food. Allowing 25% for tax, how much will they pay in total? Okay, the first method we're going to use is the percent bar model. So the first thing you do is you set up your percent bar model to find 25% of $32. So we know how to do this. We split our percent into four equal parts, into quarters, so that each one is worth 25%. Then we split up our dollar amount, our $32, our whole amount, into those four equal parts, and each 25% is worth $32. So if 25% of the $32 is tax, how much is the 25% worth? It's worth $8. So they're going to pay $8 in tax. So we add this to the original value to find our new value, to find our total amount. So the bill was $32. Then they paid an additional $8 in tax. So the total amount that they pay is going to be $40. Okay, a new pair of noise reduction headphones sell for $140. If the tax rate is 5%, how much will a customer pay in tax? So, we're going to use the percent proportion method for this example. Our part to our whole. We know that the headphones are $140. That is our whole. We know that the tax rate is 5%, so that goes in a percent. That's always out of 100, and it's the part that we're looking for. 5% of this $140 is going to be how much they pay in tax, so that's what we're solving. So, solve your proportion. Can we go from 100 to 140? No. We're going to have to simplify. So we can actually divide by 5, and that's going to be 1 over 20. Now we can go from 20 to 140 by multiplying by 7. Do the same thing to the 1, and we get 7. So the tax amount, the 5% for tax, would be $7. Now, what if we wanted to know the total that they pay for the headphones? Well, you add the sell price, $140, plus the tax of $7. So in all, they would pay $147 for the headphones. A bicycle is on sale for $170. If the sales tax rate is 8%, find the total cost. All right, we're going to use percent shortcuts. We know that it's $170. We want to find 8%. How can we break this 8% up? Well, we can break it up to 5% plus 3%. We could break it up to 10% minus 2%. 
we could break it up to 1% and multiply that by 8. I'm going to go ahead and do the 5% plus the 3%. So I'm going to find 10%. Actually, I'm going to do the 10% minus 2%. So remember the shortcut for finding 10%. We move the decimal point one place to the left. So 10% of $170 is $17. Now I want to find 1%. The shortcut is to move it two places to the left, so it's $1.70. Go ahead and put in dollars and cents. And I want two of those. So 2 times $1.70 is going to be $3.40. So to find my total cost, I'm going to subtract the 10 minus 2. 10% minus 2%. So I'm going to do $17 minus $3.40. And I get $13.60. This is the 8% tax amount. To find the total, add it to the 170. So the total would be $183.60. Emily wants to buy a new studded collar for her dog, Betty. If the collar is priced at $29.95, how much will she pay, including the 8.5% tax? <clears throat> so this one, bar model would be difficult to do, as well as the proportion and even the mental math. So sometimes you're just going to have to do decimal multiplication. If you have a percent that includes a decimal amount, it's easier to do decimal multiplication. So we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply the $29.95 times this tax. Now this is 8 and 5 tenths percent. We can't multiply by a percent number. We can only multiply by whole numbers or decimal numbers unless we're doing fractions. So remember our conversion, our DP. To go from percent to decimal, we move the decimal point two places to the left. So we're going to do the same thing here. One place, two place. I'm going to have a hole, so I put annex zero. And my decimal is now 85 thousandths. So I'm going to line it up to do my multiplication. Remember, we do not line up decimal points when multiplying. We do a right alignment. Multiply like you normally would. And just to make this a shorter video, this is what you get. Then you go back, you count how many decimal places. There are two in this factor. There are three in this factor. So we need a total of five in our answer. So one, two, three, four, five. So our decimal is going to go between the two and the five. Now we're talking money. So we cannot write this as money. We have to write it in dollars and cents. And the cent is the hundreds place. So we need to look at the digit behind it to tell us how to round our four. Since it is a five, our four is going to round up to a five. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's going to be $2.55 in tax. Okay, now that's not what the question is asking for. It wants to know how much she'll pay, including the tax. So how much total? Well, she paid $29.95 for the collar, and her tax is $2.55. Add them together. Remember, line up your decimal points when adding. So 10, 15, bring the decimal points straight down. So Emily will pay a total of $32.50. A gratuity, which we call a tip, is a sum of money given in addition to the basic price to certain service workers for service performed. So we give tips or gratuities to waitresses and waiters at restaurants. We give them to people who provide services like haircuts, um, maybe somebody comes to clean your carpets or deliver furniture. Uh, if you go on vacation, a lot of times you'll tip, if you stay at a hotel, you'll tip for maid service 
or the bellhops if they bring up your bags. Okay, so the tip is calculated as a percentage of your total bill, excluding the tax amount. So again, just like with sales tax, the tip is a percentage of the amount of your bill. The difference here is that you don't include, you don't tip on the tax, you just tip on the service itself. So to find the amount of the tip, you use the same math methods as you do with finding sales tax. The Rodriguez family went to dinner at Pasta World. They'll, their bill came to a total of $23.75. If Mr. Rodriguez wants to leave a 15% tip, how much would the tip be? Okay, you know, there are four methods. You choose the method that works best for you, the one that you think is going to be the easiest to solve this problem. I'm going to use mental math, okay? Just because it's, it'd be harder to do the models or the proportion when you have a decimal amount. To me, the mental math is easier. You might want to go with a decimal multiplication. Totally up to you. If you do that, just remember you have to change the percent to a decimal first. So 23 and 75 hundredths. I'm going to break this down to 10% and then to that I'll add 5%. So the shortcut for 10%, move the decimal one place to the left. So I get 2.375. We are talking money, so we need to round to the hundredths. So this five tells us that the seven is going to round up to an eight. So this is going to be $2.38. That's 10%. Now 5% is going to be half of the 10% amount. So 5% is going to be $1.19. I just take the $2.38 and I divide it by two. Now add it together and I get my total tip amount. So 17, carry the one. So the total tip amount would be $3.57. And if you wanted to find the total amount he pays in all for the for the meal, you would add the $23.75 to the tip amount of $3.57. A haircut and blow dry at a local salon cost $50. How much will it cost after adding 8% tax and 5% tip? Okay, there's a couple of different things you could do here. You could find what 8% of $50 is, find the tax amount, and then find the tip amount and add everything together, or add your percents together. Save a step. You're going to pay an additional 13%. So you want to find 13% of the $50. So I'm going to break this down to 10%. 10% of 50, mental math, is going to be $5. And then for my 3%, I'll find 1%. Remember to find 1%, you move the decimal two places to the left. So 1% is 5 tenths, or since we're talking money, I'll put 50 cents. But I want three of those. So I want 3%, so I multiply that by 3, and I get $1.50. Add it to my $5, and my total tax and tip amount is going to be $6.50. So the cost after tax and tip, that means the tax and tip amount, the $6.50 plus the $50, is going to be $56.50. So you need to make sure as you're working these problems that you're actually answering the question. If you answered $6.50, your answer would be wrong. Yes, that is the tax and tip amount, but they're wanting to know the total cost including the tax and tip. So you have to go back and add it to the cost of the blow dry. Okay, here's your video check. The Jaden family eats at a restaurant and their meal costs $78. If the tax rate is 8%, and they decide to leave a 15% tip, how much will they pay in all? You're going to complete this on your video check form. Make sure you show your work. Make sure you include an answer statement. And your homework will be completed in the same manner.